Recently on the road, I came across streamers preparing to broadcast the pinball tournament. But what stopped me in my tracks was I noticed they were setting up OBS, which is one of our recording tools. Their OBS guy stepped away, and what happened was an engaging conversation about setting up the scene. And I could help them add sponsor logos, as it was just a simple slideshow. That made it easy. In exchange for my assistance, I was given a chance to play with the mixer board and how it switched the cameras for their stream. It's cool to see the streaming side, which focuses more on layout to maximize the content to fit on a single screen. Over here, the focus is on screen recording, so our layouts differ. Our scene is set up to record double HD wide. This is a trick I learned from YouTubers who make Let's Play content to do their recordings. It starts by recording a full HD version of the camera of the person working the screen and a full HD resolution of the screen actually being recorded. Over here, we have the additional step of the video editor. So once we dump that, we can split the screens, which then still preserves an audio synchronization. From here, depending on the focus at the point of what we're trying to show in the video, zooming and moving overlays is trivial, an advantage that we have over a live static stream where things are pretty much how they are. If you want to know more about our tips and tricks, leave a comment below. And if there's enough interest, we'll make a long form video about the tips and tricks that we use to make OBS work for us.